Welcome students. Today we will solve first numerical on kinetics of particles based on work energy principle. So let us start today's lecture. So we are given one statement over here. So let us read that statement first. An automobile weighing 1000 kg is driven down a 5 degree incline at a speed of 72 km per hour when the brakes are applied. Causing a constant total braking force applied by the road on the tires of a 5000 Newton. Determine the distance travelled by the automobile as it comes to a stop. So we are given this situation. We are given an automobile weighing 1000 kg is driven down an inclined surface having angle of inclination as 5 degrees. And the automobile is moving at a velocity of 72 km per hour. And at that velocity brakes were applied, which caused a constant braking force of 5000 Newton acting in upward direction. And we have to find what distance this vehicle will travel before it comes to a stop. So in order to solve this problem, first of all we have to draw the free body. So let us draw its free body. So in order to draw the free body of this situation, we will represent automobile as a block over here, placed on this inclined surface. Then the first force which will represent in this free body will be its weight, which will act in vertical downward direction. Its mass is given to us as 1000 kg, so we have to multiply that by 9.81 to get its weight. So its weight is 9810 Newton, which we have shown in vertical downward direction in this free body. After this, we have to represent the normal pressure and let us label that as N. Now let us see what other forces are acting in this situation. We know that the automobile was traveling down the incline and brakes were applied which caused a total braking force of 5000 Newton and this braking force will act against the motion that we have to show along the incline in upward direction. So we have shown that along the incline in upward direction as 5000 Newton. So these are the only forces acting in this situation. So let us consider x axis and y axis for this problem. And we know we always consider x axis along the incline and y axis normal to the incline. And in this case, we have a weight which is inclined to those axes. It means we have to first resolve this weight into its components. So we have to show its two components one along the surface, second will be normal to the surface. And we know if this angle is 5 degrees, then this angle will also be 5 degrees by geometry. It means this component will be sine component and we will call it as 9810 sine 5 degrees and this will be cos component we will call it as 9810 cos 5 degrees. Now we will understand the two positions of the vehicle. The first position is when we have applied the brake. Second position shows us the final position when vehicle comes to stop. And we have to find the distance between these two positions. So let us label that as x. We know for first position the velocity is given to us as 72 km per hour and velocity for the second position will be 0. So let us first calculate kinetic energy of the automobile at the first position. So we will say at position 1 we know the velocity of the automobile is 72 km per hour. So let us first convert this into meter per second. So that will be equal to 20 meter per second. So let us find the kinetic energy of this automobile at position 1. So that will be equal to T1 is equal to half m v1 square. So where m is the mass of the automobile which is given to us as 1000 kg and V1 is its velocity at position 1, so which we have calculated as 20 meter per second. So from here we will get its kinetic energy as 
2 lakh joules. After this, we will find its kinetic energy for position 2. At position 2, we know the velocity is 0. So, kinetic energy of the vehicle will also be 0 at position 2. Now, we will see the work done on the vehicle. So, that will be equal to work done from position 1 to position 2, labeled as U12 over here. So, let us see what forces are doing work on this vehicle. So, we know the weight of the vehicle is acting in downward direction and this component of the weight is responsible for the motion of the vehicle down the incline. It means this component is doing some work on the vehicle. That will be equal to the product of the magnitude of this component and the distance between position 1 and position 2, that is x. Now, other force which is acting on the vehicle is the braking force, which is also doing work, but that work is a negative work done which is against the motion of the body and that will be equal to the product of the magnitude of this braking force and the distance between position 1 and position 2 that is x. It means final work done on the vehicle will be equal to minus 5000 into x plus 9810 sin 5 into x. We have considered this work done negative because it is against the motion and this work done positive because it is towards the motion. So from here we will get work done equal to minus 4145x. Now we will apply work energy principle. So it states that sum of initial kinetic energy of the automobile and the work done on the automobile will be equivalent to the final kinetic energy of the automobile. So let us put these values. So we will get equation as 2 lakh minus 4145x is equal to 0 because final kinetic energy is 0. So from here we will get value of x as 48.25 meters. So we have found that vehicle will travel a distance of 48.25 meters before it comes to a stop. I hope this answer is clear to you. Thank you very much.